Hi, I'm Jesper, part of the ST Touch DFX team. In this video, I will show you about the simulator and how to utilize all its uh, nice features. I have here the Touch DFX designer. I have created a new application based on the UI template uh, gauge example. As you probably know, you can compile and run uh, an application, a Touch DFX application on your PC. Um, by compiling the simulator. The simulator is a port for the TouchDFX application for your PC, so it will run exactly the same application as on your target uh, hardware, except of course for the abstraction layer uh, towards the hardware, which will be for the PC instead of your STM32 based board. You can compile the simulator in different ways. One of them is by pressing the run simulator button in the designer. This will compile using make and GCC. Um, so if you press here, we see the output in the line down here and we see the simulator is being uh, executed uh, when the compilation has completed. Another way of building is to use the TouchDFX environment, the shell that comes with touch the effects. So here you can locate your application. Um, so this is the one I'm using. So here I have a simulator folder, so I can just invoke make, uh, pointing out the make file. Here, test J64 parallel compilation. Okay, nothing to compile because it is the same. Um, it is the same command that is being invoked by the uh, designer. So here, when I do a clean, you see it will generate and compile. <coughs> so on, and you can see you have a built-in simulator exit that you can execute. And here you have the, the same application. Okay, so now we have the simulator up and running and uh, we want to do some, uh, use some of the features in the simulator. What you can do is to go to the help menu and look in the keyboard shortcuts. So here you will come to the the touch the effects uh, documentation web page on uh, keyboard shortcuts. So here you will see uh, shortcuts in general for the designer, but if you scroll down, you'll see uh, touch the effects uh, simulator features uh, as well. Okay, so let us um, have a look at uh, some of them. So here we have the simulator. It says in the documentation F1. Uh, we'll enable the debug, so let's try that. So here you can see that now it prints the position of the of the mouse cursor. Um, F2, enable disable highlighting in validated areas. This is a, an interesting one. So here you can see it now highlights the area that is being invalidated. Um, this is particularly useful if you are doing some performance optimization. You want to know what goes on if you're doing some sort of animation. Uh, sometimes you are invalidating areas that you did not expect. And if you are on the, the edge of the performance uh, on your hardware, well, then this will be an important thing to, to, to look at. The next feature is to uh, taking screenshots. So there are th three options for doing that. So the F3 will take one single screenshot and place it in the screenshot folder. Uh, Control F3 will give you the next 50 frames uh, so you can analyze in, in details what is going on. And Shift F3 is a quite, a quite useful one which will place the screenshot in the clipboard instead of in a file. Um, so. We run again um, here, pressing F3. If I go to the application folder and I have a screenshot folder here and you see the, 
um, the image here. If I press Control F3, I'll have a lot. I'll have 50 now. And if I press the Shift F3 and uh, go to something like paint.net, I now have a, a, a screenshot here that I can I can look at. The next feature I would like to show is the pause simulator uh, feature. So this is invoked by pressing um, F9. It will go into step mode and if you press F10 you can step one tick in touch the effect. So if you want to see if the needle here is, is at the exact position that you want when it's, uh, it's in maximum, you can do like this and you can Unpause it again by pressing F9. The last feature I would like to show you is uh, how you skin your um, simulator. So I have an image like this showing the uh, F746 board, uh, SD board. Um, I can set that as a skin image here. So if I go to configuration and the simulator here, I can uh, have a skin image for landscape mode and portrait mode. So this is landscape mode. So at this, I've just saved it here to my, my project. So this one. And then I need to set the X and Y co coordinates for the actual simulator image. So for this particular image, I know it is something like uh, this, I believe. Um, so if I go here and I compile, You now see that the, the image is is placed inside the or the image of the simulator is placed inside this image. I cannot drag it around since this is a, an overlay in a Windows application. However, if I press F4, I will go back to this uh, normal way of of, uh, of seeing the the simulator without skin, and I can change back and forth here. Okay, that was all from me on how to use the simulator in TouchDFX applications.